Also, uh, because they had the option, I thought, why not? Let's try it with some CBD oil. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I look like I'm about to enter like an alien pod. Well, my body is completely floating, which is good. I must sound insane. I'm gonna take my pants off. Yeah. Hey, what's up? It's Joey the Anime Man. How you doing? Today, uh, we are in a mysterious location. I actually don't know whereabouts we are. I've never been to this part of Tokyo before, but I am going to be attempting something that I've always been curious about ever since I saw videos of it all over YouTube, but I've never really got to experience myself. And that is a little thing called sensory deprivation. As the name suggests, it is a course or an experience, however you'd like to call it, where you essentially go in to relax or more blatantly deprive yourself of all of your senses. Sounds scary, but it's actually used as a relaxation method. Some people use it as kind of awakening, hallucination method, while others kind of use it in a more relaxing, taking all of your stress away type of leisurely activity. And I've seen lots of videos of it of all sorts of places over in America and in Europe and stuff like that. So I thought, I wonder if there is a sensory deprivation tank in Japan. And I just so happened to find one here in Tokyo. This place right here called Kokorodo is, from what I can see, the only place in Japan you can go into a sensory deprivation tank. But I guess in Japan it's too difficult or scary to call it a sensory deprivation tank, so in Japan they call them isolation tanks. Which, in my opinion, sounds a lot more terrifying. But hey, before we move on, let me tell you guys quickly about the sponsor for today's video, Genshin Impact. That should be a name that all of you watching this video should be familiar with by now, but in case you've been living under a rock, let me explain. Genshin Impact is an open world action RPG game available on PC, Android, iOS, and PlayStation 4 and 5. Step into a vast magical world now and start your adventure on the continent of Teyvat, where seven kinds of elemental powers surge. And with a plethora of unique characters who join you along your journey, there is always another story to be told. But for those of you who are already familiar with Genshin Impact, let me tell you guys about the brand new version 2.8 updates. Like the Reminiscent Regiment event, a co-op mode that takes place in the Golden Apple Archipelago area. There's even the Evermotion Mechanical Painting, a new puzzle game that needs players to play around the gear in order to make the machine work. And because it's Genshin Impact, we also have some returning characters on the banner like Kazuha, Klee, and Yoimiya, as well as the new four-star character, Shikanoi Hazel. There is absolutely no better time than to be a Genshin player. So if you're interested in any of the brand new updates and events, as well as the game itself, then make sure to go down to the link in the description below. And thank you to Genshin Impact for sponsoring today's video. On to the show. So today I have booked out a session over at Kokoro Door to jump into their sensory deprivation tank to see what it's like. Unfortunately, I won't be able to tell you guys the location of this place because when you actually look up the name of this place on Google Maps, it just shows you the map of Japan. So clearly they're trying to hide the location, maybe because it's a reservation only type of thing. I'm not too sure, but there's only one way to find out. So let's jump into a sensory deprivation tank and see how it goes. waiting room right now. It's a very strong smell of oils and stuff like that. Also vapes, like a lot of vapes, like a crazy amount of vapes. This isn't a vaping location, so I'm a little bit confused as to why. But again, of course they, they you know, market this as a relaxation place. As you can hear from the Creative Commons, hopefully relaxation music and footage of Greece. <laughs> I think. But we're not going to be using those today. Of course, we're going to be jumping into the isolation tanks today. There's a couple of courses. They have 60 minute courses, 90 minute courses, but I'm going to go for the biggest one, 120 minutes. Also, uh, because they had the option of using CBD oil, because yes, that is legal in Japan, I thought, why not? Let's 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 try it with some CBD oil. I, I don't know how much more relaxing it's going to be, but uh, only one way to find out, I guess. So supposedly there are all sorts of different experiences people go through with sensory deprivation. To basically explain, I'm going to be sitting in a tub of salt water for the next two hours. I'm going to be putting earplugs in, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm essentially just going to be floating in a tank by myself for two hours. Nothing but me and my messed up mind. From experiences that I've seen on YouTube videos and experiences from a couple of my friends overseas who have been in isolation tanks, the results vary from person to person. Some people have just found it to be this like really relaxing place while others have really felt the full effects of sensory deprivation. Like a lot of people have started, you know, like hallucinating, you know, having all sorts of mental awakenings and stuff like that. I'm really terrified as to how that's going to be for me, especially because 
it's all gonna be on camera. <laughs> So thankfully the guys over at Kokorodor have given us the permission to film, so thank you very much for that. But if you do decide to come here on your own accord, I personally wouldn't really recommend sticking a camera in your face because this is supposed to be kind of like a relaxation type of thing. Obviously a lot of people can't relax with a camera in their face. I can because I'm a filthy YouTuber. But first I gotta go ahead and uh, shower, wash myself off, and then uh, yeah, just uh, jump in i guess and experience awakening enlightenment i am completely naked right now on camera mood on i hope you're ready <laughs> how many times do i need to be naked on camera i swear like i was I, I had a shower scene in the internet cafe video and now i'm having another shower scene only fans coming to <laughs> all right so i'm out of the shower Check out my crotch. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. You thought I was naked? Nope. Wearing swimmers because I don't want Mudan to censor my dick for two hours. But with the package that I booked, it also came with the option to add CBD oil. Now, I'm not too fond of CBD oil and stuff like that. I know it's a thing in Japan and I know it's a legal thing, but when he gave me this, I was like, oh my God, you're about to make me do something illegal. So this is concentrated CBD oil, oral drops, which suggests to me that I have to literally put this in my mouth again. Feels like I'm doing something illegal, but uh, trust me, YouTube, this is absolutely legal. So the guy said that I have to take like four or five drops of this and put it on the bottom of my tongue and then let it sit there for like a couple of minutes and then jump in. Sounds sus, but uh, let's try it out. <laughs> I got three or like four to five drops, I think you said, yes. on the bottom of the tongue. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't taste like anything. No taste at all? No taste at all. Mm. Just feels like there's water in my mouth. Next, I gotta put on these uh, earplugs because supposedly the water inside the tank is quite salty just to, I guess, avoid it. And also this, I feel this adds to the, the sound deprivation as well. So uh, taking away a sense by putting in some earplugs. I feel like like a like a human lab rat <laughs> doing this stuff. Like I'm about to go into do some like fucked up social experiments. I don't know how far in oh. these are supposed to go. I guess that's fine. You can't hear me, can you? Huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's time to jump in. Jump into the tank, let's go. I don't know how loud I am, by the way. I'm probably very loud. I <laughs> Here we go. Oh my God, I look like I'm about to enter like an alien pod. It's like pee. <laughs> it's like warm, but it's like not warm. Like it's not hot. Sunny. <laughs> Oh, well, my body is completely floating, which is good. Oh, this feels so weird. The water's like slightly oily, so it kind of feels really good on the skin. You know, there might be a couple of people who might view this as a little claustrophobic or whatever, but it's honestly quite nice. You know, I wasn't old enough to remember this when I was growing up, but I feel this is what it feel, must feel like when you're a baby in the womb. メニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューのメニューの
あるっていうところは多分あまりないと思うんですよ、ね。はいはいはい、はいうん。そういった意味では日本ではやっぱりこのセットっていうのは希少かなと。あうん、アイソレーションタンクと CBD のコラボっていうのは、うん、希少かなと思いますね。わかりました。Right now, the only thing that's like kind of distracting me is the fact that in this like soundtrack that's playing, there's this tiny bell that just sounds like my phone. Going off, give me a notification, like ding. So I keep having to look around to find my phone, but obviously it's not on me right now. Maybe that's the, the point is to just let go of your, of your feelings. Supposedly, this music is going to play for the first 10 minutes and then it'll stop. The senses will slowly be taken away one by one. Right now, my sense of Touch, I guess, is slowly getting deprived from me as I'm floating in this water. But then eventually the music is going to stop and my sense of hearing will vanish. And then eventually the game of your lights are going to go off and my sense of sight is going to go as well. No sound, nothing to see, no feeling. Oh, the music's gone. CBD を扱ってるっていう、はいはい、実はその店とかも、私自身もあんまり日本では知られて、うん、まあ知って、<笑>まあ知られ、知らないほど、本当にないかなと思ってるんですよ。で,よ、ねでうん、ちゃんと並べてるっていうのがすごいなと思っていて、はいはい、なんだろう、その、ど、なんか店としては、うん、その、う、う、売る、売る、その、許可とかって、うんうんうんこれってた大変なんじゃないですかあそうですね、はい。やっぱり日本はやっぱり CBD うるさい、厳しいので、はいはいはいはい、やっぱり許可は、許可というかね、まあ、やっぱり国の規制が厳しいんで、やっぱり販売についてはかなり慎重にやってます。はい、あなるほど、うん。で、うちはあの顧問にドクターもいるので、はいはいはい、でそのドクターと一緒にこうやりながらって感じですね。ああ、わかりました、うん。つまりちゃんとした方法で取り扱ってるっていう。わ、ねはい、かりました。I know I can talk. I know I'm allowed to talk louder than this, but I think just the complete lack of sound. It's like it's, it's so quiet that I can't, I feel like I'm not allowed to talk any louder than this. You know what's the weirdest feeling right now that I've just noticed? I think the reason why me being in this water is like, Messing with my senses is because the air outside of the water is just as warm and just as humid as in the water. So it just feels like your whole body is being wrapped around in water. I must sound insane right now, monologuing all this stuff, but you guys know me, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting you when I say all this stuff. But there's a button right here which will turn off the lights. So let's see what that's like. My sense of touch is gone. My sense of hearing is gone. And now it's time to deprive the sense of sight. Oh shit. 普通だと、店的にはそのリラクセーションをやりながら、これを多分普通に、あの、まあ、買うお客さんもいると思うんですけど、はい、普通にリラクステーションなくて、うん、普通にこちらを買うお客様っているんですか、うんうんとね、うちは基本的にはやっぱりタンクに入りに来るんで、セットで。セットで。はいはいはい。だからまあ CBD もやっぱりリラックスを目的としてる方が多いので、はいはい、なのでタンクもやっぱりリラックス。はい、だからまあ、相乗効果があるっていうか、はいはいうん、やっぱり CBD の目指すべきところとアイソレーションタンクが目指すて、まあ、ところっていうのが、まあ、合致してるっていうか、はいはいはいはい、なのですごく相性がいい CBD とアイソレーションタンク、はいはいはいうん、それでねうちは置いてます。<laughs> oh wow, certainly different. Now it really feels like I'm like inside like a cryogenic chamber or something. I don't know where the pod starts and the pod ends. Is it bad that I 
sometimes forget to breathe. The sound of my breathing is so loud, and I just want to like cut that off. And then I realize I've been holding my breath for like 10 seconds. Is it possible to suffocate from relaxation? この6年間って、うん、こう、面白いお客さんとか、はい、こう珍しいお客さんって結構いらっしゃったりするんですかねいやー、そうですね。もう本当にね、いろんなジャンルの人。ええー。それこそ、お坊さんも来るし。ええー。<笑>そうなんですかお坊さんも来ます。ええー。で、やっぱりアイソレーションタンクの中で、あのー、まあ、瞑想というか、ああ、お経を唱える。ものすごくね、あの、タンクの中がね、響いて、すごくいいみたいです。うわまあ、いいみたいっていうか、すごくいいです。なるほど。はい。実際に、ちょっと見てみたいですね。<笑>あのー、ね、<笑>やってもらうといいですよ。<笑>ええー、お経を整いながら入る。すごい。そういうのとかね、あとは本当に、トップアスリートの方。はいはいはい。うん、あの、野球選手とか。あと、J リーグの選手とか、はいはい、そういった方たちが、まあ、入りに来たりとかもしますね。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。はあ。この場で体験できるっていうのが少ないかもしれない。はいはいはい、うん。まあ、少ないんですよね、日本では。はい。珍しいっちゃ珍しいと思うんですけど。ここに来ると、結果いろいろ試せるっていうのは大きいかもしれない。はいはいはい、はい。CBD とか、うん、へえ。そうですね、やっぱり。ちゃんと使っ、うん、扱ってる店とか,かとかは全部もらってるしっていうのが、やっぱり。そうですね。はい。自分も入った瞬間で、うっこれってっていう。<笑>そうだよね。え扱ってるんだっていう,う、ね。はい。そうなんですよ。だから、あのー、そういうのはなかなか少ないと思いますね。はいはいはい。うん、日本ではまだね。ああ。I was definitely asleep again. I think there might be like a slight initial jolt of panic when I wake up because I think my body's telling me like, don't fall asleep, you're in water. <笑> I know I'm safe, but like, I think my body just isn't used to being submerged in water while I sleep. もし、はい、まあ、ちゃんと先ほどもそのメニュー自体も英語で表示されてると思うんですけど、はいはいはい、大歓迎なんですかああ、もうぜひぜひ来ていただいて。はい、あのー、平日ね、いるスタッフなんかは、ちょっと英語できたりもするんで。はいはいはい。はい、ええー、なるほど。<笑>今日はたまたま僕なんでちょっと。あいい<笑>申し訳ないだけど。いいいいまあ、あの、多少英語できたりもするんでね。あ、わかりました、はい。多少簡単なご案内はできると思います。来てください。日本に来た時には。はい。わ、はい、かりました。本当に、かしこまりました。はい。今日はありがとうございます。ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました。Am I being a good person? Am I being a good friend? Am I being a good partner? Brother? Son? Just, you know, it's making me question a whole lot of things. My hair feels like seaweed from the oily water. It's weird that, like, something like this should be distracting me from the real world. At the same time, it's making me think about everything. I'm remembering things from my past and thinking about things from the future. And then after that's all said and done, I think about nothing. But it feels like I've been here for days just thinking.
has it already been two hours? Jesus Christ. God, that was the shortest two hours of my life, but at the same time, the longest two hours of my life. That was it. What did you say? <laughs> how was it? I don't know how it was. <laughs> I had a dream. Like, I had vivid dreams, like, several times. The first time I woke up, I, like, started crying randomly. What's a look? And then the second time I woke up, and I was just like, I think my body was like, where am I? And then the third time, I guess, I fell asleep, and then I woke up to the sound of the music. Hmm. <sighs> That was so weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> feels weird to get out. <laughs> You're born a new man. Oh my god! I think I have to like jump in the shower. But let's let's do that. It must look like a fucking gremlin <laughs> coming out. The salt. I can feel the salt like hardening. Like you can actually see the salt in my hands. Ooh. You see that? Oh wow. Yeah. It's like all over my body. Look. It's like crystallizing. Oh my god. As it's coming out. Ooh. Well, I must say that was easily the most relaxed I've ever been, but I think hands down the trippiest experience I've ever had. I felt like I was high without doing drugs, but there's only so much I could have said into words. You know, like this is definitely one of those experiences that I feel is different for each person and is definitely something that I won't be able to portray fully to you guys in the video. Hopefully, it was still interesting enough. I mean, you said without drugs, you took C a bit of CBD, so a bit of drugs, I mean, just to help it. I don't know. Okay. I don't count CBD oil as drugs. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's just oil. All right. But regardless, a uh, big thank you to the folks over at Corporal Door for letting me film and letting me jump into your alien high pod. <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I won't be able to leave the address to this place, but I will leave the website uh, where you can go and check it out for yourself. And I must say, regardless of if you do decide to take the CBD oil or not, I highly, highly recommend just trying this out for yourself because it really is extremely relaxing. Like it feels like, you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night and you, you know, just kind of feeling good about yourself, even though it's like a weird time of day, that's how I feel right now. I think it's like, 4 p.m. but it feels like I got a good night's sleep honestly so it was really really good but yeah if there are any other weird cool places in and around Japan that you'd like me to try out on video then uh, let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this one be sure to leave a like it helps the channel out a lot and if you've been inside of a sensory deprivation tank before like this one then what were your experiences like I'd be curious to know what it was like for each person but now i'm just in like eternal zen mode i'm not really up for filming anymore so i guess i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching like your favorite if you enjoy subscribe for any banter just keep watching anime Johnny.